Hello YouTube friends and family, it's Vanessa and today I came to share with you a uh, just a quick unboxing really. I'm not going to go into details about the bags because it's going to take a long time. So this first box actually came from my sister-in-law. She asked me to pick up a few things for her and when she got them, she, they weren't what she expected. She's not a big shopper so I'll show her things and send them to her. But So this is the little... Um, What's it called? Central Shopper Tote. And I guess the color is called gray. It's all peeled off there, so can't really see it very well. But she wasn't happy with that, so she sent it back to me. So I don't know. I'm either going to add it to my collection or try to sell it. Um, I guess she thinks it was a lot smaller than what she expected so she wasn't happy with that so we're going to see what we can do with that and then also she sent back this one here let's see I think it's the prairie satchel I think that's the name of it and I don't remember the color but I remember we were in Woodbury Commons in New York and got it for a very good price. I mean like maybe about $55 after the discounts. So it was during the holidays and they had some really good discounts going on. So that's the Prairie Satchel. And when I find out the name of the color, I will annotate that for you. So I just wanted to share that with you. There's another little tiny bag. And shoes that I picked up for her from TJ Maxx that were too small so she sent those back so that I could exchange them for her and here's another pair of shoes that I picked up from TJ Maxx to exchange and send back to her so that's all that's in this box and in this box I got from Lola's Saratoga. It's a vintage um, resale shop. I don't know if you can see that. Lola Saratoga little sticker there. And let's just open this up. Ta da! This will be my first time seeing it. Well, it's not stuffed. I can tell that it's not stuffed. I thought they would at least put paper in it. But this is my very first. My very first and this is the Louis Vuitton Epi Leather Speedy 30. It's got silver hardware. There's the lock and key. This is my very first time even touching one. I was never one for ever wanting to buy a Louis because of coated canvas. And I was just like, I can't move myself to spend that much on coated canvas. And I know that people say that they're very durable bags. They last a lifetime. They hold their value. But for the coated canvas, I couldn't do it. For the leather, I did it. But I got it from a consignment shop and I got it for a fraction, a fraction of the uh, true cost. This says Certificate of Authenticity Louis Vuitton Epi Electric Leather um, Entrupy E-N-T-R-U-P-Y is the company that does the authentication. Um, so there's that. I've never seen one before. Like I said, my very first time even like touching one. So. I'm going to do a more in-depth video of the dimensions and all that. I just wanted to share with you all really quick what came in the mail today. And then I'll show you all the details and, you know, what I like, what I dislike, and, and all of that. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.